Okay, they are changing code. They all look stupid. <laughs> look like a doctor, but somehow they don't let you to wear the pants. Like nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you go now? I've never been so close to it before. Let's try to make a little separation on this side. So the at the bottom it's Michael Zivitz Turover. 63, 66, 65, 67, 68. So we're standing exactly at the bottom of the reactor unit, from reactor unit number four, so the shelter. So many times we made stop in 300 meters from there, but never been so close. We wrecked the unit number four. So we are going inside the reactor number four. So see you there. It doesn't stop here. <laughs> all the security yeah. controls. A lot of those images were bought also yeah, to measure the levels of radiation, so different devices. I've got three. So one, two, and third, this one. Oh. You're inside the nuclear power plant, Chernobyl nuclear power plant. It's unbelievable. The power plant is not generating electricity. But once you get here, it's unbelievable. So many people here. Everything is working. People were moving and so many security. Why is that? Well, naturally, it is understand because so all these uh, Premises inside are contaminated. And now we're inside of the, uh, not, not far from the control panel number four. So some work is sitting around there. Yeah. Well, uh, just very soon everything will be in tomb. Just last chance to go inside the control panel room number four. Historical place where so important events took place. So okay. basically, you're saying we are the last tourists that can get inside? Last people, last visitors. Last visitors. This place is not for tourists. Yeah, Reactor right unit in those night, the night of the accident, the night when explosion had happened. It happened at night, so one o'clock, 24 minutes. And such famous persons like uh, Dyatlov, for example, operated reactor unit from this place. Dyatlov was the main engineer of the power plant. Let's try to start the reactor unit again. Mm -hmm. Won't work. My cruise is per hour. I feel tired. I think it was a little bit too much radiation this time. Well, that's quite enough for this time. Let's take off all this. I feel like a fried chicken. Chicken beef. Do 
lots of waste. Wash your feet. I wash your feet there. Have stem here. In our shoes. And we can go. Will, will we have a shower? Oh, I think yes. No, it's necessary to do every day regularly. Finally, our gig account is that quiet. That quiet too. So this way. Okay. Going this way now. All these walls, all this cabinet looks like so old. Uh, behind this wall, there is the room where the reactor number four is located. I mean, whatever is left from the reactor. And here we found the monument. You will explain us what is the monument for. Well, at the time of the explosion, one of the uh, from the personnel of the nuclear power plant, one not far from the circulation box. And then, uh, in the result of explosion, so all these premises were destroyed, and his body is still inside there. Well, it's hard to believe, but all sarcophag, all object shelter became like a big grave of one person. What did you get into? Chernobyl nuclear power plant is in the process of decommissioning, so it's a very long and time-taking process. Well, and uh, human presence here need for a long period of time. Well, spent fuel and not spent fuel are still inside of the different temporary facility storages of the nuclear power plant. So the personnel have be here, must present here permanently. And this is control room of reactor number number three of this reactor unit number. Well, I still can't believe so many people here inside this power plant. I frankly thought that we would see nobody here, just maybe ghosts. But, well, it's, it's crowded and still unbelievable that the power plant employs still so many people and yet it produces zero electricity. This is reactor room. It's interesting. It says here the device was shut off in 2001, nine years ago. 